Hi, I'm Jake Burkett from Grey Alien Games, and I'm back for another session of Eye of the Beholder on Commodore 128. So last time um, I reached this funny area where, let's look at the map. If I go up this corridor, a fireball sort of shoots down and I did manage to run up and get around the corner, but then I got killed by some drow. And I'm going to give it a go again. Um, so let's run and quickly go left. Yeah, we made it. OK, fine. So we've got this big empty room and in here there are drow. So we can at least kite them around this room. I haven't enabled the mouse. OK. Actually, I don't know if they're directly in there or down here. Oh, I remember what happened. It wasn't drow. It was some kind of undead thing that came bursting out one of these doors when I went in here. So we need to get spells and whatnot armed. Let's get the magic missile wand back. Yes, yeah, so we need to be ready for some something mean. I think it's as soon as we go in this room. Here it comes. Yeah, they, they've got some serious hittage. But they run away from Shira. Oh, there's two of them? Oh my god. Uh, we're going to get to do some major kiting. Move to the side, please. We might get surrounded, actually. Let's move a bit. One of them's run off. Which I'm not complaining about. Yes, that's one down. Can we, maybe we need some healing. El Rapido. Yep. This healing spell is pretty rubbish. We need a new one. Um, I'm at, nobody's dead, so I'm tempted to save. Then I can go and hunt down the other undead that's run off. Actually, there are three doors on this area of the map, so it's possible there are three undead things. Oh, there was the platform that opened all the doors. Okay, yeah, there it is. Okay, move fast. Made it run away again. That's good. Not complaining. Did it hit it? Or hit a wall? I think it's working. I ran into that. Big hitter. Good. Move. Tagor has taken major damage. Oh, he's unconscious. One more hit and he's a goner. Deham. At least Tank is taking the damage as per his name. One more, come on. Yes. Poor Tagor. If we sleep, are we going to get accosted by undead? Never a good thing. We're okay. Fine. Right, what was in here then? So, remove paralysis. Well, that would have certainly come in handy before. Look at all these scrolls. I've really got to use some of them up. Arrows. Oh, a key. Finally, we get a key. Adamantite longsword. Don't need it. Robe. It seems to be just a generic robe. Yeah, who cares? Oh, another scroll. Whoops. Protect evil. Well, we could have done with that a minute ago. Maybe if I knew that in advance, I could have uh, used it. I wonder if drow classifies evil if, if I'm, you know, stereotyping them. Certainly undead are. Uh, 
Okay, a few more arrows. Quite pleased with that outcome. Actually, I should save because I haven't verified what was in the third door. So this room was basically just a room with scrolls in, but we had to do a lot of fighting to get here. But yeah, there we go. It's missile tastic. Let's go. Everybody can let loose. There it is. Go. Move, move, move. Wow, double miss. Come on. It's almost a, a cheat that you can do this in games if you can time it right. As long as you don't get surrounded. Then again, it's actually the same idea in uh, Dark Souls, isn't it? Don't get surrounded. Yep. So they're not too bad solo. Surely the original designers knew that people could do this. They couldn't have got far making this game without discovering that. Maybe they just decided to leave it in, you know. I'm not sure how you could get rid of it anyway, except for having the enemies be a bit more intelligent about how they moved, perhaps. Like, made it a bit random, or they start doing the same tactic to you. Who knows? Or they can attack sideways or something, really, or diagonally. That would be a bit unfair, though. Okay, so this is the second door, nothing, and this is the third one up here. Okay, holy symbol. Right. Well, hmm. I mean, I'm carrying around quite a lot of <laughs> bones now, three different people. I do wonder if I should resurrect them. It's possible they're better than my current party members. Because look, look at Dorum, right? His stats. Strength, 18, which is, is pretty good. Health points, 45. Um, if I look at Tagor, who we rescued, 54 now and 17, so pretty good. Um, just going to look at Tank for now to compare. 43. So that was one I rolled at the beginning. Um, Nigel I rolled at the beginning. 46, 15. I mean, he's ended up just being a rock chucker. It's not really um, fulfilling his role as a paladin. Yeah, she's got hardly any health. She's got barely nothing. 17. So low, actually. Maybe I should have re-rolled and got better. Okay. Oh, yeah, this room. So I've got to make it out of the strange fireball corridor, this one, without getting hit. So a save is on the cards, in the cards, as North Americans say. Brits say on the cards. Not a lot of people know that unless you've lived in both places or heard that phrase specifically. But as I make card games, you know, I've picked it up. Okay. Run down, move to the side. I think we've made it. There's the fireball. Yep. Good. So new zone. And I've got a key. So I could go back and operate this door. Though that door beneath had nothing in it. I could go up those stairs and operate this door. Oh no, it didn't accept this type of key, that door. Which is a bummer. Oh, a dead end with a shield. Is it a good one? No. I don't care. So I'm going to head back to one of these doors. 
I think I can use the key on. Maybe we get a really good key in there. Hmm. Or I can try going down actually and just double check this thing about the lock. So it was up here. That's the keyhole. And bronze looking key doesn't fit. Fair enough. So I will go to the other door. We could operate in theory. Unknown what's in there. I can't hear enemies, but I will save out of precaution. I don't think I've been saving enough, often enough until recently. Um, okay. Does that keyhole look different? Not really. A way up? Okay. Oh, look, we're in the middle of this bit. I was <laughs> on an earlier video. I was trying to get through this wall all the way around. No success. So what's in here? Anything good? A stone ring. OK, I know what that's for. That's for the portals. Gwen has all the stone objects. She's got a staff, but I don't think he's ever going to use it. Just one of those um, staffs you get from the Kenkus. All right, so this is probably an important item because it's for teleporting. So looking at the map, I've done this area. I've done this. There's a suspicious gap up there, actually. Maybe I should have checked the walls more thoroughly. I might check it on a walkthrough later and see because I'm worried about running past the sort of fireball zone. It's not far, though, is it? I could look again. Um, there doesn't seem to be a way down here unless I've missed something on one of these walls. That was a dead end. Uh, and down the bottom of the map, there was nothing either, according to my previous looking around. Hmm. All right, I'm going to check that top corner because I am suspicious. Though, as we've just seen, sometimes you end up on... Oh, this is the wrong way. Uh, sometimes you end up on an unexplored area of a part of a level from another floor, which, you know, kind of makes sense. So I will save it because this is the fireball zone. Then I'll head north and just double check the walls up in that corner. There might not be anything. Right, made it around the corner safely. The thing is, I don't know what secrets look like on this wall. Like I've seen secrets on other wall types like that looks like one, but it isn't. So any obvious differences? See, there is none. Nope. What's that? Is that one? Nope. Hmm, none here. Wouldn't think so anyway. And there could be one here. No. Okay, nothing. I actually think I'll reload to save me having to run through the fireball zone. So, flash load. All right, now I could check this room. Can I walk forward into the fireball area then? But nothing got me. So let's just thoroughly check these walls. Not seeing anything. Uh, 
haven't tried walking through them. No, nothing. Okay. So I feel like the only option is to go down. Unless there's something on one of these walls. Nah. So we've got to go down a floor or go and use the teleporters, find out where that ring takes us. But I'm okay with going down. Okay. What's this down there? Level eight. Right, so I think I might pause there for now and come back and do level eight another time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.